days we just seem to move faster than others. It could be the mood, the weather, or perhaps the wine from the night before. We all want to work faster and smarter when our to-do list is as long as our arm and the work is still piling up. But what if slowing down was not an option? Or what if you became so fast you're breaking records? Like the fastest haircut, or the fastest changing of a race car tire, a rapping sign language goddess, or a life-saving lifeguard elf? Here are 15 fast workers who do unreal things. With Monica Lewinsky filling on his nutsack, I'm an MC still as honest, but as rude and as indecent as all hell. Syllables, kill a hall, they kill a Number 15. Banana harvesting. Who doesn't love bananas? They're one of the most popular fruits on the planet, but it takes so much effort to get them to us. It's super labor intensive. Plantations often require hundreds of thousands of workers moving very fast. They're an essential source of income and employment for many households, as well as being a source of nutrition and food security for more than 400 million people in the producer countries. Harvesting takes place about a year after the plant sprouts up from the earth and can weigh between 50 and 125 pounds. In many places, harvesting bananas is done by pairs of workers. One person cuts the stalk with a knife-tipped pole and a second person catches the bunches on his back when they fall so the bananas are not bruised and the skin is not damaged. After they're harvested, the bananas are carried on wire trolleys, mule carts, tractor-drawn trailers, or narrow-gauge railroads to shed where they're washed in water tanks to minimize bruising, wrapped in plastic, graded and boxed. After being processed in the sheds, bananas are often carried by narrow-gauge railroads to the seacoast to be loaded on refrigerated ships that keep the bananas green while they're transported abroad. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Jesse the Elf, Canada's Fastest Lifeguard Jesse the Elf, his legal name, from Ontario, Canada, has been dedicating his life to celebrating the festive season, even having surgery on his ears so they're pointed like an elf, and branded his chest with a snowflake tattoo. Jesse is also an amazing lifeguard. He took home six gold medals and bronze at the event, an improvement on his five golds and two silvers at the 2018 event, which pits the fastest lifeguards from across Canada against each other. As well, he took home a bronze and the open men's mannequin carry with fins and gold as the overall points leader to repeat as national champion. He said it's an honor to be crowned as Canada's fastest lifeguard. Santa would agree. Elf said as a result of his success at the event, he had been named the Canadian team for the Royal Life Saving Society's Festival of Life Saving in England. In late 2018, Adelaide, Australia, which is held every two years, taking home two medals. In addition to his life-saving exploits, Elf is an aspiring Olympian with his sights set on qualifying for the Olympic Games. Who wouldn't want a life-saving Elf lifeguard to win a gold medal? Number 13. World's Fastest Haircut A hairdresser named Anna demonstrated how she utilizes her natural 10-centimeter nails while hairdressing in St. Petersburg. And as a world-class stylist, she is ranked as the fastest hairdresser in the world in the Guinness Book of World Records for completing 315 hairstyles in 12 hours. Her nails have helped her set the record as the fastest hairdresser in the world. In the footage, she shows not only can she work fast, but she can also do that while blindfolded. The super stylist, a whopping 43 times, got prized in hairdressing and decorative makeup championships and contests. And besides being a hairstylist, She's a makeup artist and a designer of a hat brand as well. And besides a record-breaking haircut, according to her website, she's a TV presenter, vivid showmaker, businesswoman, and not to mention, bright, charismatic person able to inspire and lead thousands of people in Russia and worldwide with her ideas. It goes on, through her art, beauty makes it to first place. You start to live with it, breathe, feel. A shocking call to acknowledge the beauty is our only possible reality. Number 12. World's Fastest Sheep Shearers A man has set a new world record by shearing 867 sheep in just 9 hours. Ivan Scott spent 9 hours on the shearing boards in Cornwall, beating New Zealand's Dion King's 9-year record of 866 by a single lamb. 
The 35-year-old, who is based in New Zealand, has worked every shearing season there since 2000. A professional shearer typically removes a fleece without badly marking or cutting the sheep in two to three minutes depending on the size and condition of the sheep, or less than two in elite competitive shearing. Shearers who tally more than 400 sheep per day when shearing crossbreds, or around 200 for finer wool sheep such as merino, are known as gun shearers. Gun shearers use blade shears and are usually shears that have shorn at least 200 sheep in a day. Scott completed five grueling rounds of sheep shearing throughout the day, beginning at 5 a.m. and ending at 5 p.m. To hit his total, he had just 37.37 seconds to shear each individual sheep. In order to meet the competition regulations, each lamb had to produce at least 6.6 pounds of wool to count. This is the first time the record had been held by anyone from the Northern Hemisphere. Number 11. The World's Fastest Ambulance We live in a world where first responders in an emergency require the best tools available to save lives, like this ambulance. A customized Lotus Avora is being held as the fastest ambulance in the world, able to race to injured people at 185 miles per hour. Unveiled at a technology conference in Dubai, the car is worth over $135,000 and will be used by 50 specially trained paramedics. Emergency staff will be able to reach patients in three or four minutes on average, but each driver who's assigned to the car will have to take a rigorous high-speed training course in order to help them navigate through Dubai's busy traffic. The Avora, capable of hitting zero to 60 miles per hour in just 4.8 seconds, has been outfitted with lights, siren, and a full paramedics kit to boot, including a defibrillator. At the moment, the Lotus is being paraded around Dubai's tourist hubs, including the Jumeirah Beach residences and Burj Khalifa, to impress visitors and expats before being put into full operation by the end of the year. It's one of several new vehicles coming to Dubai's ambulance fleet, including two Ford Mustangs and a Chevrolet Corvette. Number 10. The Shawarma Masters. This may be the world's fastest and coolest shawarma maker. Shawarma is a kind of Arabian dish that consists of meat put together on flatbread. It usually is served with onions, lettuce, tomatoes, and some slurp of sweet and spicy sauce. In Turkey, they call it Donner Kebab, in Greece, Gyro, and in Armenia, it's become one of the most popular and recognizable Middle Eastern fast foods around the world, especially in Russia. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia's streets began to fill with kiosks selling foreign fast food, and in the mid-90s came the moment of triumph for the Sharma, which was, and still is, ubiquitous on city streets. In Moscow, it's presented quite generously with sliced white cabbage, and in some places they add fried potatoes. In St. Petersburg, people consider this a sacrilege, and it's made with only sliced tomatoes, cucumbers, a few salad leaves, onion, and sauce. The main difference between a Russian one and those made in the Middle East is the meat. In Russia, you can fill it not only with lamb and chicken, but also with pork, which of course is taboo for most of the Middle East. Number 9. The World's Fastest Police Car Nowhere else in the world can you hail a police car and snap a selfie with the driver. Nowhere else in the world is that police car likely to be a Bugatti Veyron, Ferrari FF, or Lamborghini Aventador. This is Dubai, where the police force has just been presented with a certificate by Guinness World Records for having the world's fastest police car in service. A Bugatti is just one of its 14 strong fleet of supercars that also include such beauties as a McLaren MP412C, Aston Martin 177, Audi R8, Mercedes-Benz SLS, Lamborghini Aventador, Ferrari FF, Bentley Continental, Nissan GTR, just to name a few. The previous record holder belonged to the Italian police force, the Lamborghini Gallardo LP564, which has a top speed of 230 miles per hour. But Dubai's police superfleet isn't just used for high-speed chase downs or very many police duties at all, for that matter. Instead, the car cruises around the luxurious state-of-the-art city in search of tourists and attention. But the flagship of the fleet is the Veyron, with a staggering top speed of 253 miles per hour, its 16-cylinder engine produces 1,000 horsepower, sending it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just two and a half seconds. Number 8. ASL Sign Language Rapper At a recent rap performance, all eyes were on the sign language interpreter. 
and the video footage of the interpreter keeping up with the rap legend Twista, one of the world's fastest rappers, won the internet. The clip of Amber Galloway Gallego interpreting at a recent concert has racked up more than 1.3 million views. She's the real MVP for keeping up with me, said Twista when he shared her signing skills online. Galloway is a sign language interpreter specializing in the interpretation of concerts and music festivals, especially rap and hip hop, into American Sign Language or ASL. She has since interpreted on stage for over 400 artists such as the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Snoop Dogg, other artists like Lady Gaga, the Black Keys, and Cher. In 2013, Galloway Gallego went viral for her performance with Kendrick Lamar at Lollapalooza, and in 2014, Vibe magazine called her the Jay-Z of hip-hop sign language, and her Twister performance drew similar praise. Galloway Gallego has used her viral fame to advocate for the deaf and hard of hearing community. Feel like a rap god, rap god. All my people from the Calling for more inclusion, especially within the arts. She thinks it's so important to have interpreters at events like music performances. Number 7. Sabina Schmitz, the world's fastest taxi driver. For the speed freaks out there, this one's for you. Sabina Schmitz is a German professional motor racing driver, also known for driving the BMW Ring Taxi around the Nürburgring racetrack, as well as being a television personality, a ring taxi service where you can take a ride around the racetrack with one of its drivers. The taxis get booked up to a year in advance, but unfortunately, she's retiring. After running this course more than 20,000 times in her lifetime, it's safe to say Schmitz probably knows the track better than anyone else in the world. The ring taxi service will still be available, though the car is being downgraded from the soon-to-be superseded E60 M5 to an E90 M3 sedan, and performing the driving duties will be instructors from the BNW Driving Experience Program, though that's been the case most of the time anyway, as Schmitz was only available for VIP ring taxi experiences. Number 6. Fastest Livestock Auctioneers The fast-talking style that auctioneers use has a name. They call it the Chant, or in the words of Livestock Marketing Association world champion Brandon Neely, it's rhythmic poetry with numbers. Brandon Neely from Alabama provided his world-class talent as a livestock auctioneer at the World Livestock Auctioneering Championship. Livestock marketers promote auctions as the best way to move inventory quickly. A good auctioneer's rapid style of the chant sets a fast pace. They will then break down and compress those words, transforming full phrases into humming compounds like what I want to give or now a dollar. After time, the words blur together and keep the bidding going. It can sound like gibberish to an untrained listener. At 28 years old, Neely has competed in the World Livestock Auctioneer Championship for nine years, having earned several honors along the way. For Neely, winning the title means he takes home a customized 2015 GMC Sierra truck to use during the year of his reign. $5,000 cash, a championship bronze sculpture, world championship belt buckle, and a hand-tooled leather briefcase, a world champion ring, and a priceless money clip. Number 5. Fastest Pizza Maker The chef is the fastest pizza maker in Europe and can make a pizza in just 27 seconds and has been crowned Domino's fastest in Europe for the third time in a row. Zagros Jaff was able to perfectly hand make the dish, complete with sauce and 40 pepperoni toppings and a record-breaking time. In this competition, they have to hand stretch fresh dough, sauce and top three large pizzas, one pepperoni, one mushroom and one cheese as quickly as possible. While speed was important, it was only part of the equation in determining the world's fastest pizza maker. Quality was scrutinized as four judges inspected the stretching of the dough, application of the sauce and portioning of toppings during the competition. If the pizza was not perfect, it was returned to the competitor who remade the entire pizza while still being timed. Quality was everything. If the pizza was not perfect, time penalties were added to the final time or the pizza was disqualified. Either way, all in the spirit of fun and mad pizza mania. More than 5,000 spectators cheered as champions made the three large pizzas in an impressive 32.28 seconds. That's making three pizzas in less than 11 seconds each. Number 4. Racing Waiters of Argentina 
Hundreds of waiters and waitresses from all over Argentina have taken part in a race which involved carrying a tray laden with drinks for the first time in Buenos Aires. Café culture remains a staple in the Argentine capital, often dubbed as the Paris of the South. So this is a big deal. And in Argentina, they take the customer service experience very seriously. Nearly 400 men and women picked up trays laden with drinks to speed walk down city streets in the annual running of the service staff. The race, sponsored by a local hotel and hospitality association, covers about 15 blocks in the capital. A total of 368 men and women from all over Argentina took place in the 1,750-yard race through Avenida de Mayo, one of the capital's main avenues. Looks like a blast, too. The goal is to walk, without running, while balancing drinks and bottles and to reach the finish line without spilling a single drop. And that's how these racers make a living, so you know they're good at it. Carlos Sejas won the men's under-30 contest and Noelia Rojo took the women's category. The winner of each category was the person who crossed the finish line first with their tray intact. Number 3. World's Fastest Mechanics In motorsports, a pit stop is a pause for refueling. New tires, repairs, mechanical adjustments, a driver change, is a penalty, or any combination of the above. Pit stop work is carried out by anywhere from 2 to 20 mechanics, also called a pit crew. Max Verstappen's victory at the Brazilian Grand Prix was already memorable for the way he passed Lewis Hamilton twice on the circuit to land his eighth F1 win. But there was another cause for celebration among his mechanics after they set a new F1 record for the fastest ever pit stop during the race. With a service time of just 1.82 seconds, the team managed to stop the car, change all four tires, and then set him on his way again. As with any successful pit stop, the entire event appears as one fluid motion with every member of the team performing flawlessly. In addition to the record stop, the team put in the third quickest 2.12 seconds and fourth fastest 2.1 seconds of the race among the nine other teams on the grid. It was his first pit stop during the race and was crucial in his battle to emerge on the track in front of Lewis Hamilton, who had already pitted and was looking to take the lead. Maybe next time. Number two, Sheldon Wiley, fastest bartender. New York bartender Sheldon Wiley clinched the Guinness World Record for the most drinks made in an hour. He needed 938 to break the record. Wiley made 1,043 drinks in one hour. Although it's been a while since he had made headlines, Wiley asserts that he's not been getting rusty. And then he even drank one himself. Just kidding. But it's true about the cocktail making record. He is able to make three cocktails in 20 seconds with no problem. Although it's been a while since he has made headlines, Wiley asserts that he's not been getting rusty. In fact, he's prepping for a nationwide tour to bartend in all 50 states in 50 days and will soon compete in what he calls a smaller event, where he will attempt to break the world record for opening 2,000 beer bottles in less than 28 minutes. But for bartender Sheldon Wiley, making fancy drinks is fun, but he's all about something else, and that's speed. The bartender now trains others in New York City in different countries, but if you ask him his preferred flavor, it tastes like home. Good old-fashioned, locally sourced ingredients, a tip from the best for you would-be bartenders. Number 1. Howard Helmer, The Omelet King How many omelets can you make in half an hour? Five? Maybe ten? Meet Howard Helmer, a man whose ability to make 427 two-egg omelets in half an hour has seen his name enter the record books. He's a chef who's an advocate of the almighty chicken egg, and he currently holds the Guinness World Record for the fastest omelet cooker, having made 427 omelets in 30 minutes. He's also able to make one omelet in less than 40 seconds, and because of that, Helmer's 15 minutes of fame is now approaching 30 years. He not only holds the record for the number of two-egg omelets made in 30 minutes, but has broken the record for omelet flipping. More than this, he's traveled the world showing off his technique, and he's been featured all over mainstream media. His fun style and catch cries of two eggs and two tablespoons of water and dig a hole and fill it, which means to move the cooked egg to the center of the pan and let the raw egg fill the hole, won't be easily forgotten. My job is to take away any trepidation people might feel about cooking eggs and make it as simple as possible, which is easy. Because as easy as it looks, is as easy as it gets. Those were 15 fast workers who do unreal things. Thanks for watching.